Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here. And uh, welcome to the channel. We are about to embark on a three-day, one-way trip uh, in the Tundra. We're going to do a little road test on it, mileage, how does it do, how does it feel, how comfortable is it. We're bringing the dogs. This is their area back here, so they're all... <laughs> confined and packed in pretty much with the seat cover because you know I don't want them scratching up everything. Anyway, we're going to leave here in a couple minutes and uh, we'll check in as we go. Tennessee, and the only hotel we could find that was halfway decent um, because of the dogs. That would take dogs. And this is our room right now. <laughs> Got my hat on crooked. Uh, Pretty exciting stuff. It's not horrid. Turn that on. Check that out. It's not horrid, but. Uh, uh, except for that, somebody tried to get in there, I guess. I don't know. Uh -huh. But uh, this is where we're staying tonight. Hopefully, uh, 
Probably not for very long. Yeah, we're not going to be here long. And if if we're here at past six o'clock in the morning, I'll be surprised. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, we're going to carry on. See you in a bit. Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty, Pretty good here, and it's uh, it's day two of our journey. Uh, we're about to pull out of the uh, Bates Motel and uh, <laughs> get out of Tennessee and head down uh, through Arkansas and Louisiana, and then we'll be in Texas. See you in a bit. All right, not sure how this is going to come out on camera, but I believe... the Mississippi River. And it's now welcome to Arkansas. Smiles. Hey Cole, we'll be knocking on your door in about an hour. <laughs> Here it is. Welcome to Texas. We have made it to Texas. We have made it to Texas. We drove all the way through Arkansas. There's the Texarkana Water Tower. decided to uh, soldier on through last night. Yeah, there's a blue and green pyramid over here. And uh, we got into uh, Texas um, at about, uh, I'd say about 9.30 last night, their time, that'd be 10.30, my time. And I uh, wanted to show you what the truck looks like after the trip. It was two days on the road. So we'll take a quick look here. We'll start at the back because that's probably the cleanest. Maybe. Not too bad. A little bit of road dirt and stuff, right? Wheels look pretty good. A little bit of stuff on the mirrors. A little bit of stuff on the sides as we get towards the front. Uh, the worst part, of course. And as you can see, let's check out the windshield. Hopefully this picks up on camera. We've got uh, some semblance of bugs left. Uh, I did wash it off several times coming because there were a lot of bugs along the route. Uh, here's the front. You can see we've got uh, numerous casualties all over the front here. And then, of course, on the mirrors as well. Check that out. Everywhere that catches bugs, of course. So, how did it do? Well, I gotta tell you, honestly, it uh, it's probably the most comfortable ride I've ever taken a long distance trip in. Uh, Krista has a bad back, and even she was impressed with how well the Tundra did. Um, so from a comfort standpoint, it was perfect. Um, from a power standpoint, you know, it's the iForce V8. So of course it was uh, plenty powerful enough. I never had any issue when I needed to speed up or pass somebody or whatever. 
Um, speed limit ranging from 65 up to 75 all the way, so from about 70 to yeah, right around 80 the whole trip. And it did really well. Um, never felt like it was underpowered or struggling to, to maintain those, temp uh, those temperatures. Speaking of temperatures, a little warm here. It's supposed to be in the 90s today. Um, but it never uh, struggled to keep up on the freeway. As far as fuel economy, um, we got a high of 17.5 miles per gallon. I'm not quite sure how we hit that. Might have been an anomaly, I don't know. But uh, average was right around 16 and a half, 16, 8. And again, that's traveling speeds upwards of probably an average of 70 mile an hour on up to, uh, to 80. So not horrible. It took me, oh, and one other thing I'll mention with regards to gas. Uh, you know, it has the 36, I believe, gallon tank. And we only had to fill up going from Ohio all the way to almost Mexico, southern Texas. Uh, we only had to fill up, I think, uh, five times. And that's only because I filled up uh, at the half mark as opposed to letting it run down. If I would have let it run down, probably two and a half to three times to, uh, to travel about 1,570 miles. Excellent. I didn't expect that. I really like that. So, how did it do overall? I give it an A+. I was very, very impressed. Best ride I've ever taken on a trip uh, of any length. Um, as far as the handling, one more thing to mention. Uh, no issues there. There was no shimmy. There was no roll. Of course, I'm on freeway, you know. Uh, I will say there was some shimmy or some movement. I wouldn't call it shimmy. Movement when I was behind uh, semis. You know, you get caught in their little slipstream and the, the vehicle kind of does this. But that's common, I think. That happens in cars, trucks, stuff, whatever. When you're caught in that slipstream, that's just the way it goes. Anyway, that's our uh, trip down here. Plenty more to come. I'll give you a little uh, preview of uh, things for the future. Maybe not the immediate future, but the future. Just a quick little pan around here. That's all you get for now. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And stay tuned for some really exciting things. Have a good day. Bye.